Hey everyone, I'm Bill. I'm with Calimoto TV. Welcome back to the channel. Welcome to Chuck Waller Raceway, where today we have the Ducati Street Fighter out here uh, on our uh, second session. Our first warm-up session was real light, so we just wanted to take it easy. But uh, we've got quite a few things that we're going to be talking about in uh, the Chuck Wallace series this week. Uh, we do have the over suspension installed on the uh, bike. We also have the Cordona quick shifter uh, on the bike. So uh, I didn't really get too big of a feel on either of these products in the first session. Like I said, the first session was really, really light. So. So we uh, really were just uh, going to be seeing how we get along with this. Now, um, we'll talk about the Cordona quick shifter in this video because we should be able to get a good feel for it. We're still entering the tra track just a little bit. Now, uh, I'm familiar with the track in this direction pretty good. Still getting some heat in the tires. So, take it a tad easy this lap. And we got Robert in the ball. Should be able to get some good photos here. Robert, one of the best with Cali photography. So we are riding with a uh, Ducati dealer down in Escadino, I think. Moto Forza, the gentleman that's camped right next to us, Jerry, a uh, good friend of ours. We've uh, been riding buddies for a little while here on the track, and uh, he supports Moto Forza. Moto, Moto Forza, it's a mouthful, <laughs> uh, quite a bit. Uh, one of Wagner's friends also uh, supports the dealership who invited us out. So we thought we'd make the trek down to Chuckwalla. Also, Wagner has a new toy we we're picking up for her. Uh, we were supposed to have gotten it by now, but uh, some plans fell through. So I think we we're picking it up tomorrow. Cordona quick shifter, but I can tell you is I feel like it, it shifts, the shifts are much harder, uh, but I feel like they're securely going into gear, which is very nice. A big high speed track where I'm getting in, in the, the fifth and sixth gear. Fourth gear is probably the highest I'll go on this track. But so far, third to fourth is. Uh, Very nice. Now, Bogna, uh, her first initial impression, she said going into fifth was a bit of an issue for her. And uh, I'm not sure what that is. But that's a little bit of a problem. Hopefully not a quick shifter issue. Huh. Uh, 
Um. Just shut, shut down power. A little bit too abruptly for my taste. The first track day is always kind of a, a relearn and adjust what's happening with that part. This being the quick shifter, do we need to shift a little bit harder? Or whatnot, you know, it's just, you know what I'm saying, you know what I'm saying. to say um, about the Cordona Quick Shifter. Um, there isn't much out there information-wise, and I've been told a couple different things. The uh, guy I bought it from is that it's adjustable. I talked to Robert, and he says, no, I don't think it is adjustable. I couldn't find any adjustments for it. It seems like it's just plug and play. So it may have some type of learning as well. And so with that being said, we may have to figure that out slightly. with the bike. Uh, that would make kind of sense. Kind of learn to ride. Because I will say the uh, shifts are getting a little bit sharper now.
truck to do too. Getting the lines down, getting the shift points down, gearing down, all of the, all that jazz. said in the beginning of the video I also have the over suspension on and uh, I have made some adjustments to that already we'll talk about that in the next session but uh, it, it's feeling all right I can feel it I actually did make some adjustments already to it out of here. We had a trail break in there at the last minute. <laughs> this bike was January this year and we had the Apria Toronto out here at the same time and I had an awe moment with this bike and that moment pretty much was I was never riding this thing in, in fixed mode, fixed suspension mode with Dave Moss. So, finally I got around to that fixed mode and it was just, like I said, it was just an awe moment. It was very, very nice. moment, you know, suspension in the wheelie control. You know, can make this bike at, the, at a truck day, you know, because you got too much or too little wheelie control. And then the problem that you have is it wants just wheelie all the time, right? So that's one. Two. The suspension's not right. <laughs> and it's not hard enough in the rear. It wheelies even more because it's softer in the rear. So. Just, you know, 
in these bikes, when you're at the track, so much stuff needs to talk to each other. And so much stuff needs to mesh with each other. And uh, if you don't have that stuff together, what happens is, it's a checkered flag, but I'll just cruise with this guy. Uh, yeah, if you don't have everything that's meshing, you know, it, it all works against each other. So if your suspension isn't working with your traction control, isn't working with your, you know, steering damper, if it's not all working with each other, it's not going to all work with you and for you. I always say one of the cheapest and best mods you can do to any motorcycle, regardless if you're a street rider or a track rider is suspension. We'll talk about suspension in the next session because we're going to be talking about over suspension. But, um, but uh, the quick shifter, the Cordona quick shifter, um, I'm going to get Bogner's opinion. I'll give you a brief blurb at the beginning of next video and see if it's working better for her. Uh, I had that one hiccup. I don't know if that was a quick shifter hiccup or if that was uh, just a bike hiccup um, or maybe just a me hiccup. <laughs> but it definitely seemed like uh, definitely seemed like it was a gearing issue. So, but thank you guys for sticking around for another ride here at Chuck Walla Raceway on the Ducati Street Fighter V4S. And uh, for me, the Cordona Quick Shifter is, uh, is quite pleasant. It's quite nice. So, I don't mind it. This is Jerry, by the way. Jerry's got a full carbon fiber V4S. Whew. Very nice, very nice. She's working, she's working good. Tires are looking good. But uh, yeah, I think, I think the Cordona is learning a little bit. Is it any better? It's better? So I think, I think these learn as we're riding them. Yeah, so I had a big hiccup in second to third where it, 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 well, yeah, it was bad. But the quick shifting is, is softer as we're going along. So as we shift more and more, I think it's going to learn. So um, don't be spooked out for the first time or the second time you ride it. But the Cordona quick shifter, uh, so far, so good. We'll be heading back over here and talking about the over suspension next so stay tuned but uh thank you guys for sticking around for another video and uh do the normal hit the subscribe button smash the like button the bell notification ring that bell notification it's going to tell you when we have the over suspension follow-up video up we've got probably one more session on this and then stay tuned you s1000 single r guys we'll be out on that so uh thank you guys so much and uh, we'll see you guys next video bye guys